A new back to school gathering, somewhat new anyway, is popping up again at this time this year. We are seeing families come together to mark the moment of a new academic year. The back to school family dinner doesn't have to be a big deal, but you might want one or two ideas to make it feel special. Studio 5 creative contributor Kelly Wanaker has been collecting some ideas for you. It's good to see you. Thank you. This is such a sweet tradition. It is growing in popularity. Absolutely. And it feels like a little bit more thoughtful way to kind of mark or celebrate this change of season. Yeah, and I feel like coming, we were just talking about like the high of summer. Yeah. And then it's almost, I feel like this kind of gives it like a reason to celebrate going back to school as opposed mm -hmm. to be something that's like, oh, we have to do this, we have to get off this summer high and yeah. now go to school. But it's more of a celebration of like, we're moving to another stage and this routine and it's gonna be great. Yes, <laughs> yes isn't it? <laughs> that's what we tell ourselves anyway. Right, it, but it is. It's so yeah. great to have stages yeah. and schedules and, and we're kind of feeling those seasons of life and helping them to like kick off this season. Did you so. do this? Did your mom do this or anything like oh, this? No. Oh no, like when we were, wasn't it like, get your school supplies, get your school clothes, get to school. Get out I'm, the door. Yeah, totally, <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I love it. I have lots of friends who are doing something similar and I do think it's like a very meaningful way to come together as a family, yes. kind of quiet the atmosphere a little bit yes. and then move forward with momentum into talk, school year. So talk us through your table full of ideas and as we like to say take one or two and you have yourself a special right. and the thing with situation. this is it really is simple most of the stuff is probably things you have around your house but I love kind of the theme of doing a back to school favorite things party. Cute. So again keeping that positive momentum going into the school year so this is fun we there are good things about it right we're excited. Yes. So a couple of things um, as far as elements dollar store, go to the um, school aisle of the dollar store. Uh -huh. Look at how simple this becomes a placemat. You have for $1.25, you have a whole table oh, worth of placemats, right? There you go. Totally simple. Um, I did a little, I printed on these. Better um, than Olive Garden, you can give them crayons, they can do a worksheet. Right, <laughs> it totally, well, they yes, <laughs> you totally can. So um, this I use to make like a little my favorite things about school. Oh, you use the paper. Yeah, so you can just print directly on it, which is fun, or get normal note paper. You don't have to complicate this. If you're the type that loves to send things through your printer, which I do because of just the perfection that it creates. The satisfaction. Right? Um, then go for something like this. But again, $1.25, you've got yes. a full sheet. And just putting this on the table makes it feel like back to school. Like this whole thing, it's just a few easy little things, but it just kind of screams school. Doesn't that take you back the skyline? What was it, the grass line? Did you not learn it I that have, way? No, no. Okay, well. I was probably before your time. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> fine, whatever. We are okay. right together. The one element on this table that will take a little bit of prep, but I think is totally worth it because then it's your centerpiece on your table for the entire month of August is this table runner. This is darling. Isn't it so cute? It's so, darling. Uh, drop cloth, painter's drop cloth cut into a 15 inch strip. Okay. And you can see how easy it is. Couple elements here that you're going to use. Like if you have a quilting ruler, it becomes even easier. Okay. Because you're just going to take, you can use a Sharpie or this is an acrylic paint marker. Have oh. you used these? No. This is what people like rock paint with. To me, have you seen like the, yeah. that yeah. are like really pretty? We were on a trail last night and I was admiring all the detailed yes. art on the rocks. They're not left. done with like a foam brush. They're done with oh these and they're goodness. amazing. Like they'll write on anything. Okay. But they'll also write on this. So basically you're just going to take your, I know, they're magical. I they will wait. be, if you buy a pack, they'll be your new favorite. I brand. will. So all you're gonna do is create your lines. And if you have a quilting ruler, it's really easy to line it up because you can do a line up at the top, a line up at the bottom, move it, a line mm -hmm. up at the top, line up mm -hmm. at the bottom, right? And then you kind of wanna follow that same ruler pattern where you can see we have mostly short lines, mm -hmm. but then every six lines we have a longer line, mm -hmm. and then we have a big line where you do your number. Thank you for studying the ruler for right? all of us. <laughs> because I wouldn't have been but able to do that from memory. that little element just mm -hmm. like makes it look more real, like a ruler. So this is drop cloth and a marker. Yep, that's it. It's and then so cute, lettering, Kelly. dollar store, lettering, pop this out, trace it for your numbers, color it in with the same marker. It really was so simple. Okay, this is the best part. What? You're gonna have the raw edge it on. It gets better? on your, well, I think so, yes. if you're not a sewer. If you're a sewer, throw this on the sewing machine, turn it under, mm -hmm. you've got like a crisp line. But you know who you're talking to. That's right, and <laughs> most, I mean, most of us don't wanna pull out. If I wanna sew something, I can, but yeah. I've gotta pull out the sewing machine, put it on the table, find a space, get the thread, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This is iron-on adhesive. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've heard of this. Okay, so I just cut my strip in half, uh -huh. and then all you're gonna do is fold over your edge, uh -huh. lay it down, take your iron, zip, right down the whole edge and, and it creates that seam. nice smooth seam with your iron and because your iron you're already ironing it on yes. so yes. super easy fun 
whole month of August, this is an adorable table runner. It so. is adorable for the month, and it becomes a party piece. You put in your stash and you pull out yes. every year. Yes, yes, and this is to the most expensive thing. I think I got this for like 10 bucks, for, but I could literally make six table runners. So make them for all your friends. They'll think <gasps> you're the greatest. What a cute gift. Right, and so easy and fun, but that would be adorable. Hey, your kids went back to school. Yes. Here's a little treat. I love that. Love it too. Um, couple of other things. Okay, you know how you always have the treats, like the, there's the things your kids are always asking you for, and it's kind of like a no thing all the time. You can't say yes to the chocolate milk every day at the gas station. Right, yeah. but this is one thing that you could do a favorite things little goodie bag that they either get to open in the morning Cute. or take to school with them, just to kind of make it fun. Like, here's a few of your little favorite things, yes, right? Yes, yes. We've kind of already talked about having them make a list of their favorite I love this. teacher, their favorite school lunch, that kind of thing. Yes. What a fun thing to catalog over the years and uh -huh. just remember. Um, a list of favorite things about each other. So you could pass a little envelope around oh, the table adorable. and have each of your kids, you and your spouse, write what's my favorite thing about this person. Just kind of cute, it's like a girls camp kind of thing you do. Yeah. But like how often do you do it as a family? As a and family. just like a very fun, cute thing. You could also write a letter as a parent to your child about your favorite things. Love it. Um, lastly, you've got to finish the night with like a favorite outfit, fashion show. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. Like their favorite back to school outfit. So it's just kind of tying that like favorite things throughout the night. Yes. Very simple, easy, just cute and fun. Now that was always something to get excited about the fashion. I did, yes. Right? My daughter's, I, I pulled in the other day and she was spinning around the neighborhood in like a sweater and leggings. Ah. And she, the, the, the boots like, combat boots. New. She had already busted it. I'm like, no, that She's section sweating. is for school. I know. That section is for December in school. You know, it was school. like the one time I could guarantee that I was going to get a chunk of money to go to the store. Right. With. I mean, I really looked forward to that. Well, now we have more to look forward to with this darling back to school dinner. Super simple details. We're, we're thankful for that because there's not a lot of time to pull it together. Can we point out the, the addition to the utensil lineup? Right. The little pencil. You got to have a pencil. You, and don't you all have them in your stash? You know, yeah. you've got them. You just throw them in there and then they can use it to write their little list. But it's just cute. It's those simple little little things yes. that make it feel special and like, oh, school. It's an exciting thing. Kelly, thank you for inspiring us. We'll post this on our website if you kind of want that stepped out tutorial for little ideas you can do at your dinner. Thanks again. Yeah.